Winter sampling is its own joy, and instead of a boat, we take a four-wheeler. So in the winter sampling video, you'll see me and another student, Patricia Tran. So we drive the four-wheeler out and we have like a sled attached to it and we put all of our sampling stuff in the sled. The laundry basket is how we organize all of our equipment. We put the equipment in the sled in a cooler in the winter to keep it warm because the sampling equipment can't freeze. So this just gives you a sense of the scale of the lake. It's about two miles to our sampling point. So the four-wheeler really disappears into the distance. Those cold days are just incredible. You can hear the lake ice expanding and it will boom and like crack under you, but it's like a foot deep, so it's not gonna break. My first time out winter sampling on the lake, it was a really cold day. The ice was like 13 inches thick, so it was very safe. <laughs> but we walked out and there was one of the pressure cracks from the ice expanding and we felt it under our feet. We felt the ice move a little and we just like spread out and it was, it was my first time on the lake so I was really nervous and the student I was with was like, don't worry, look, if you're worried, let's just drill another hole. You can see for yourself, it's still really thick ice. <laughs> This is the ice auger. The idea is it's not really just drilling through the ice, it's pulling the ice up and out so that you have an empty hole. Starting an ice auger in the winter is like starting an old lawnmower at minus 20 degrees. It's very hard. And so my tip for all the ladies out there doing winter sampling, start it inside. It's warm, it will stay warm then when you get out in the field, you can start it on your own. Also applies if you wanna mow a lawn at minus 20. <laughs> Here we're drilling another hole to take the microbe sample. And the idea there is that we wanna take it from an undisturbed water column. So we're lowering down this 12 meter tube and we lower the tube. The tube has a weight on the bottom and then we lower it slowly and then we plug the top of it and we pull the tube out of the water. And the idea is that we're capturing the entirety of the water column, so we don't want to mix up the water. Just packing up our sled to head back, and off we go. 